Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you a OP07 decklist for the OP06 Yamato leader and this is not my list, this is from another One Piece content creator from the user Ryankai14 and 12 and I will link all his um, socials in the uh, description down below so go definitely check him out. and. Just some quick information before we head into the gameplay. Um, what cards are new? We are playing the OPO7 Frankie. We are playing two new event cards. The Demonic Aura 9 Sword Style Ashura event card from OPO7 and the new Flame Split event card from OPO7. So basically this is a hyper aggressive deck because you are resting anything from your opponent. We have our standard ISO, Resty for Cost Hody to rest everything what you want. Also, don't keep that in mind. This is really important if you play against Red and you know they have like a Radical Beam or Guard Point, whatever it may be. We have um, also a lot of cards that play themselves. We have Cracker, which is also amazing with double attack and a thousand power. We have Sanji, Satori, Inuyarashi, Nekomamushi, and all of them are really important because you need to protect them and not your life. You really want to to take the life so you can gain some characters to attack with, to swing with. Uh, your most ideal cards to get from life are the Cracker card, the Nekomamu Nekomamushi card and I mean if you get the Inuarashi it's great, if you get Satori it's great but you really want to have those two cards protect them at all costs, really protect the Cracker card because you will swing with him, you will be strong, he will swing with lethal options, this is this is really your bread and butter right there. And for the late game we have Holy Jones to rest, rest two big blockers, we have Izo to rest anything and these two new cards also are really insane. You can use these cards in two ways. First of all this is an aggressive deck so you want to be aggressive. This is why we also play Amaru early on aggressive. This is not a defensive type of card. In this deck, this is offensive. You play this card as early as you can swing. Why would you ask at uh, this point right here? Because for 2 Dawn, you get 3000 power. This does not seem that amazing, but in early point of the game, this can decide if your opponent has uh, one 2k counter uh, more in his hand or not. So basically if you swing with 2000 attached, like 2 Dawn attached, he could block it with Amaru, he maybe cannot block it. And if he cannot block a Yamato attack, he takes 2 life. Keep that in mind, this is really, really strong. And you can do some things with a Nami on the way, if you know he already discarded like 3 cards. Play Nami next turn, play Amaru next turn, this is a 4 cost turn. This is really nothing, this is really cost efficient and you are swinging with lethal numbers. So you really want to do that. Also with this spell, you can just play this uh, in... You can just play this for the plus 3000. It's really that good. Uh, at the late game you can play this to rest a 5 cost character if you need it, great. And you can also just play this card to rest anything. So basically you really want to make your way through for Yamato, for Cracker, for Hody Jones and swing between with your um, trigger cards. So and really hyper hyper aggressive deck, this is really strong, I really love it. It is especially strong against these late game type decks and I'm not going to uh, say anything more and we are just going to jump right into the gameplay. Alright, we are playing against Crocodile from OP01 and I think that we are going to go first. And this is actually really strong, we have Amaro in hand, some decent counters and we could play Nekomamushi if we need it. And hmm, I think this is all right. We will keep it and I will just end my turn right here. I'm not quite sure what uh, this leader with the package is going to do. You, if you activate an event, you may draw one card. All right, so I guess he's going to counter. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, 
in this case we could swing with uh, two cards this makes us a three we can just play Amaro then we can attach this and swing for nine he will most likely counter with something and then trash some hand cards he takes it all right this is okay if he swings now i will take the life as well hoping to get something like cracker or nekomamushi inuyarashi whatever it may be he's going to search and find the crocodile place a blocker as i said i will take it draw one card mm. Do I want to draw another card? Maybe I would get Cracker, that would be really strong. I got the uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not that strong, but I mean, I cannot play his effect right now. So I guess I should just play the. I should play the Nekoba Mushi and just go straight. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't give her. My bad. Never mind. Let's just go six. He will most likely block it. We could actually use some of our Sanjis as counters. This is all right. He did counter with Law, keeping the miss all Sunday on KO if your leader has the Baroque Quest. Return up to one from okay, okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to play the Gekko Moria, getting the law back in his hand. So if he attacks now, I will gladly take the life that I can play the ace next turn. Yes, we really want to do this. All right. Now we could play the ace and then have two down left. We could use the effect from Yamato to give Nekomamushi the ability to. I mean, we do not have to uh, go for the blocker. Honestly, we can just go all straight face. I mean, I could force it. I could actually force it. I could play the five cost ace, then use Amaru on my leader to have her as an eight cost. I think I, sh I think I should do this. I think I should do this. I am going to play the Amaru now to have two rested on. Yes, I'm going to play the Amaru now to have two rested on. Use the ability to give it Nekomamushi, forcing him to go on the blocker so that he cannot block my leader. Now we can. Do we attack now? Nah, I think that we should go for face. He will maybe counter if he is smart enough. Uh, well, 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 there could be some ways to go around it. I mean, he knows that I'm going to attack with at least 8,000, maybe even more. He does counter, so he has only six cards left. We can now play the ace, force another few cards from his hand. We are going to do this. So he will either take the life to have some more protection from my leader or he will counter it. In this case I would actually take the life hoping to get some possible counter options, maybe like an event card. If he counters this right now, oh damn. Oh he did. Ah, he can draw a card. Well that was not too bad. But let's see if he can actually block 4000. He should have another Jet Gatling card. He does. He has only three cards left. We have a decent amount of 
counter ability, so we will just end this turn right here. Uh, I don't think that he can end. Uh, we have just a few more triggers left. Most likely we have some decent counter options in our hand. I don't think that he will try to go for lethal right here. It's just not enough for him. He really should try to play some blockers or get rid of my Nekomamushi because if he does not I will just attack one of his... Yep. So we will definitely um, protect him at all costs. We can counter another 7k swing depending on what he does. 6, no problem. We will also just counter this. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is just, uh, <laughs> he did not some, well, this is, this is like a last resort for him. I will give him, <laughs> I will give him the Nekomamushi. <sighs> we have the Cracker right here. We could, what could we do? I mean, playing the Cracker is not a viable option right here. We could just... Hmm... We could try and go for the finish. I could... But I don't think it's... it's... This is a, a, a difficult scenario. He has two open Dawn. Definitely something to counter. I could just attach like five down to Yamato, then I have four left. This would be like a okay choice to make. Attacking with 10,000, he would need to. Maybe I could attach like. Maybe I could attach like six that I can play the cracker at last. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to attach. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six to Yamato, and I will just go for face with 11,000. I. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I have actually misclicked. Never mind. I have only nine done. Oops, my bad. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. Um. I don't think I can end right now and I'm not going to try because he will most likely clear me next turn. So we will just try. Can I do this now? We don't have rested on. These are attached on. Uh, I can make eight. I can make two sevens with her and attack the Jinbei. I'm not quite sure if we could end right here, so I'm just going to play it safe and get rid of his... Get rid of his board just to be safe. Did he miscalculate on that? Nah, he did not. Well, let's see, we have 1000 counter. He can swing three times, potentially. I don't think that he has rush. That was kind of sad. I thought I am I was already at 10 dawn. Seven, he can take the Saturday, he will go 8 on the ace. Sadly, he can take him too. Maybe I should have gone for the face. Five down. A blocker. Uh, 
Hody Jones would be nice. Uh, this is kind of sad. I really have to... One, two, three, four. I should keep... I should keep one of my crackers in hands that I can actually discard if I get another trigger. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, go for face. He will have to block this. Then I'm going to play the cracker and my turn. Most likely I could have ended. This was maybe a mistake from my side but he had to don't open maybe this was a good bluff most likely it was I will take it Holy Jones is insane right now um, man I really hope I really hope... What is he going to do with 10 open dawn? Does he have a rush character? Bottom decks me too. I mean, alright. He can now... He has a blocker, which is alright. I mean, this should be it right now. I have Hody in my hand. This should be it right now. He is still deciding to put whether to put his cards at the top or at the bottom. Ah, we don't need Nami right now. We can just play Holy Jones, rest him. He has no active dawn and rest him. Then we can grant him to dawn. And now we can go. Wait, this is a 10,000 and this is an 8,000. So let's go for the 8. Nine and I guess this is a GG. Well, I guess I could have ended. This is a I, I could have ended earlier. This was a mistake from my part. Uh, I I'm still missing some experience with this deck. I have not played a Yamato uh, from the OPO6 start, but I think that this is a really, really strong deck. Well, our first win. Let's see if we can continue. Okay, we are playing against the OPO7 Boa Hancock. We are going to go first. Uh, this is almost too much. I mean, we have Amaro in hand. Make some poof. We could make some good pressure. We can actually force her to take two hits early on, or forcing a lot of hand cards. We should just try it, keep it, and we will just end our turn right here. We are just going to be hyper aggressive. She doesn't play anything, so I guess I'm going to play Amaru now because I could keep this later on so I'm going to play Amaru now give her a dawn and go double attack with 9000 so what is she going to do countering out gum gum brain in hand is pretty good you need another well only three cuts left so I take this all day every day for five, I will take it. Uh, rest up to one. Dang. But it's okay. No trigger. I was hoping for some character cards. Gecko Moria. Basically nothing. We can now play the Demonic Aura 9 Sword style Ashura. With two down, having three open. I'm not going to attack Gekko Moria, so I could actually... Do I play the Cracker? I don't think I do. I'm going to keep this. 
I'm just going to play this and I'm going to now nah, we don't need this oh I mean I can take like I'm going to leave one if we really need it 10,000 face he's going to take it most likely no triggers all right a lot of hand cards back again I'm guessing for some Jinbei combo action right here maybe she's at six down so like a Jinbei Weevil or Gekko Moria whatever it may be no this is going to be a 7000 swing do we take it let's think about it maybe we should take it and try to get another trigger card maybe this would be ace i would play ace if we get it or draw it next turn so i will take it nekomamushi insane use trigger we really want him let's just hope that he stays on board uh 5000 i think that i should counter this right now four so he's going to play the jinbei obviously or maybe something else no the mihawk we have holy jones for late game which is really good this is really good so we could hmm now let's think about it do we clear some of his board maybe we should maybe we should we can actually we could also just go for face if we go for the face right here we can attach like 3000 this would make him her an 8000 then having five left I can use her effect to swing with seven Nekomamushi naturally and I will still have five left so I can actually attach like three to her two to him I think I'm going to do this so we are going to use the event card uh, we don't need this use the effect for Nekomamushi so he is at seven she is at eight so now we will make we could make both a ten seven and three we can make both a ten so this was a big mistake but i'm going to make i should not have attached her actually uh before i attacked but this was due to the game not letting me go back we have to do it this way so he will counter out of this most likely using a lot of hand cards a lot of hand cards Back again at three hand cards. This is okay. We have uh, a decent amount of counter. We can we can block as so we can uh, protect the Nekomamushi. Seven. He's going to attack who? Him. We can just we can and we maybe should protect him. I'm going to protect him. six dawn he will most likely keep some of his dawn five on five I six dawn I mean the gravity raging blade tiger is seven what is he going to do with six he could do a lot of things with six but if I keep Nekomamushi and play the Hody Jones next turn I think I'm going to be all right uh, no blocker let's just try see what happens i mean he can uh, uh, at least i forced something <sighs> well let's think about it five hand cards what happened oh the boy hancock lets her draw a few cards i guess yep well we can play the holy jones now there are no open dawns we can attack with ten thousand and with eight thousand
Huh, we take a life after this. Huh, let's think about it. I mean, if I play Hody, there is nothing really worth resting right here. Wouldn't it wouldn't just make more sense? Wouldn't it just make more sense to attack with 8 Dawn? Because I don't need anything else. I have like one counter in hand. I would keep another prize card and play Hody next turn. I think that this would be just better. And I don't think he will counter out uh, 13,000 double attack he will take it and next turn I will just maybe survive well I'm going to do it we have nine so we have to keep just 140 in band card if we can block it we can block it if not then not I don't think that he will counter this this is like an immense <laughs> amount of power no trigger for us this is really really good so let's just see what he does. Eight hand cards. I mean, he can just. Uh, now, we can counter this. Actually, we can counter this and force him to go maybe face and fail. If we counter this. We are purely relying on on Hody Jones next turn. Is this an option with eight? <laughs> Is this an option with eight hand cards? There are a lot of uh, potential counters. This is not looking really good. I mean, if we take it, we may get a prize card. Nami. <laughs> Dang. Uh. Free. Dang. <laughs> I can only get to eight. This is not good. Well, let's see. It's an ace card. No. No! What is he doing? No! <laughs> no! No, not the lethal 10,000. He had a lot of 2k counters. A lot of counters. Jeez, would this have been enough? 10,000 and 8,000. Uh, two. Let's see if he could counter the 8,000. I mean, two and one and one. Yeah, and then if 10,000, one. He could not. This would have been enough. Amazing. Well, you win some, you lose some. But we did have some uh, great games. I think there were some options that uh, could have maybe led to the victory. But this is just a quick uh, showcase for this deck. I have not played tested this deck enough to be sure enough to point out my mistakes right here but this is really really cool and i really like this deck i'm going to play it in op07 and if you guys enjoyed it please uh leave a like subscribe comment in this video and go definitely check out ryan kai he is a great content creator and yeah i see you guys in the next video peace